Let's go with difficult and see what abilities we got. Ooh, is that a crit? Orbital. Poison tip. Russian roulette. Laser mass. Artillery. What was that one? Oh. Do, 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 do. And the phoenix, which rises. I can upgrade the specific abilities. I didn't see anything that's gold based there. Any gold based abilities? Let's try upgrading the one that looks like crit. You can manage the ability by clicking the icon of the ability. Passive trigger condition, any attack, 15% chance. Gives you attacks, chance to do extra damage. Final damage, 160, plus 10%. Oh, you got greed. That's so unfair. You can re-roll some abilities. Which one I re-roll? Give up damage, presume extreme speed. It's the right thing to do. Well, I give up my damage. But my damage is my crit, bruh. So I could just get rid of that one. The search for greed. So if I try a new one. Behind. Avenger. Normal attack. Increase your damage when you hit the same target. Well, that would be good for crit. So we can keep that one. You can manage the ability every five seconds to either damage or heal the enemy. Eh. Let's get rid of that one. How many times are we going to have to re-roll in the hopes of getting greed? So if you get greed, then you're lucky. Basically. That's about four re-rolls so far I've done. I'm killing them very quickly. They don't stand much chance on my side. Gosh, it looks pretty, doesn't it? Is that the greed? Alright, let's get rid of this bad boy. Now we've got Twin Twister. Doesn't look like greed to me. So you try again. It's just non-stop trying until I... Oh, there we go. Tower of Greed. You can manage the ability by clicking the icon of the ability. Acquire the ability. Always activates. Enemy bounty is now giving some extra gold. So I've got to upgrade that. That's what we can. You cannot downgrade an ability. Spend resources to upgrade this ability. Prices vary depending on what rank you are upgrading the ability to. So, does this only upgrade once? Because when I clicked on the crit... No, you can upgrade again. It'll just use up the available gold you currently have. I got an S tier greed, did I? So, do I want to just wait until I've got more like 2,100 or 3,600 gold before pressing this? Oh, I see. 3,600 is the S tier. So, pressing this wouldn't do anything until I have 5,700 or something. And I may as well wait till I've got 8... I'll just wait till I've got 8,500. Get some extra attack speed. I'm gonna yoink. Oh, I can't yoink that item. I'll wait until I've got 8,500. So you've got a certain amount of lives. I think it's dependent on how many minions are currently going around and around. If there's too many minions, that's when you get in trouble. So you want to keep it clear. I didn't get greed. I had to re-roll like six times to get it. About 5,800 health on these mobs. B, B, C, S, B, C, E. Ooh, E, ooh. Ooh. Why don't we just get rid of that? Like, I don't know. I swear I got gold last time I got rid of one of my abilities. Okay. Wait for it. Okay. S Tower of Greed to SS Tower of Greed. So you can upgrade one at a time. So I see. It's 5,700 gold and then it's 8,500 gold. I can't just skip. Roger that. I don't have the highest damage, but maybe we can fix that. 
17 R. Round 17 already. We're doing a speed run here. Looks like you're in a boss. Can you spawn a boss? Or does it just happen after you've killed so many mobs? Because a lot of you guys look like you've been fighting the boss. I remember the tank being funny. It keeps pushing him along. Doesn't look like I've got to the boss yet. I've got like the slowest amount of damage. Or the lowest. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's the boss boy. Can we get the boss? Twenty-one lives, twenty-two, twenty-three. So that's how many are on the board. Well, that's how much I have left. Because the more of those that were disappearing, the higher my life went up. Okay, I finally upgraded that, so that's now maxed. So we should be getting the best bounty we can do, so we just want to kill them quickly now, really. Probably upgrade anything that's S tier. So S tier to them, SS tier, and so forth, and re roll the other abilities. I could just roll one random ability whilst I'm here, just so I can have one more on the board. Ooh, yes. Chance to stun. You get a lot of B tier abilities. So it takes some time to get the gold needed to upgrade the good stuff. Increase your damage when you hit the same target. Damage is reset when you change targets. Yeah, no. In the long run, my damage should be good. But it started off real slow, I've got to say. Like, I've got crit, bash, and this amplifies damage done to the same target, so that should be good with crit. Ultra, with a gifted sub. Thank you very much. I'm level 74. Razor's 61. Melody's 64. Chichoff is 94. So I guess the kills is representative. So despite not having like the best damage, I've got a lot of kills. 380. Chichoff is way ahead. That probably helps that you got greed at the start. That's what I mean. If there's an ability like greed, you kind of have to have it, right? It's just too good an ability to not have. So I had to keep re-rolling until I got it. I just noticed. Item disposal. You can give yourself more damage. Random items will probably drop every time you kill the boss or specific mobs. Damage would be the best. 8,000 for that. That's the same. Where's the challenge? You watch the things spin round and you try to make the right decisions. That's the challenge. It's a flashy map. It's a uh, watch the colors map. I'm going to avenge. Unless you can give me something better. I could re-roll all the abilities I wasn't too keen on to see if I get something else. Although this is a good ability anyway, theoretically. So I'll, I'll just upgrade it. I forgot that I could have just done it at 5,700, because it's one at a time. 111.
Looks like there's quite a few different ones. That reminds me of Vampire Survivors, this one. <laughs> With the giant pixelated weapons jumping out. The tank is the noisiest one by far. I have a relatively quiet tower in comparison to how it could be. The orbital's making some noise. That could be gone. See, if I can hit the boss, I should be doing loads of damage by stacking up. He's got 7 million health, I guess. Maybe more than that. <laughs> it's hard to tell, the numbers are so small. I'm seeing 34 crits. 24 crits, 39 crit. Bigger numbers, better person. 45 crit there. Forty nine crit. Now we've upgraded this again. That's now EX. Oh Evolves this ability. There's an evolve? Oh I see. It doesn't work for my greed tower. So a hundred lumber evolves this ability to turn it into a transcendent ability. Greatly strengthens an ability. You cannot remove transcendent abilities. You cannot downgrade. May as well, I suppose. Otherwise, why did I upgrade it in the first place? Tower damage by 10%. So XS Transcended Avengers. Increase your damage when you hit the same target. Damage is reset when you change targets. Can I control whether it's changing targets automatically or not? I right click the boss when you know, he pops up, but I don't know if the tower just automatically starts focusing little minions as they spawn. Each attack increases your damage by 10%, up to 40 times. So, yeah. Not bad. 400%. I can't interact with this anymore, so as far as I know it's transcended. Uh, maybe later on it might become available. Right, shall we get rid of Orbital? Ooh, Overdrive. Every 10 seconds, always activates. But what does it do? Just gives me plus 200% attack damage? For 2.8 seconds, maybe? Sounds like it'd be good, if that is what it's doing. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what Overdrive is doing. Every 10 seconds. Need more AoE damage. 10%. Mm. Strikes the target with lasers. That doesn't sound so good. Oh yeah, I'm going heavy on the single target. Big damage, big numbers. Gather the troops. Silver Knight Templar. What does he do though? Uh, try again. Oh, it's that filthy phoenix again. It just gives you extra lives. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that's the damage your summons do, not your tower. Mm. That's nowhere near good enough then. What have I got this time? Tower of Pandora. Changes your tower's damage bonus every time it activates. Well, I assume that at least is going to give me some extra damage, which should stack up with all the other stuff. I mean, the way I'm playing, it's just to try to st stack on damage, stack on damage, stack on damage. 
It's a shame it's a D tier, though. That's pretty trash. Any attack when your tower is now toxic? Don't know that increases my damage, though, really. It's just poison damage just gets increased. So it's like a separate damage. Can Pandora actually reduce my damage, though? Or does it, at the very least, give me 28%, if not more? So that's 20% or 500%. I will never die. I better get rid of Pandora because I've only started losing life since I picked that. What have we got now? Twin Twister. See, my life's have gone up since I got rid of Pandora. That's my spin to win one, is it? Okay. My lives are coming back. Bloody's got an insane amount of damage done. Uh oh. Ooh, who it be? It's the infantry captain. He's quite the cheeky chap. Zero plus one. Armor equals zero percent damage reduction in green. Okay, let's re-roll something else. Maybe Overdrive? I figure that Overdrive looks like it would increase damage, but it doesn't seem like it. I know I, I got that fixed number, but that's probably just from the tower item. Yeah, it is. It's not from Overdrive. Oh, that looks rare and expensive. So I think I'm just going to get rid of Overdrive. In theory, I figure it would make you attack superly quickly and such, but... I don't know. Do I need to stun an enemy? Mm. Artillery. Let's get rid of that one. Uh-oh. Pandora's back, and it's a B tier. Do I keep Pandora this time? Let's see how my lives drop down. Going back up, maybe Pandora is worth upgrading. If I upgrade Pandora, surely it'll be good. It's the Gamba Tower. So every 10 seconds it basically changes my tower's damage. So it's doing 23,000 here. Let's see if that changes. Or does it sort of change the damage but it doesn't show here? 24,000. It doesn't look like it's changed. 25,000. That's just from leveling basically. Maybe there's a command? I think it says trigger condition and trigger chance always activates. There's no command other than clicking on it and upgrading it or removing it. So I don't know if it's... Yeah... You see the numbers there are much lower. So it's basically altering my tower's damage, but it doesn't show here. So you see there, that's 830. 453. And now it's suddenly like... 77,000. I might go Pandora. Razor's gone for it. And he's transcended it. It probably has the highest chance of getting the highest amount of damage. It is really gambly though. But why not?
It's an interesting tower. It's almost max. It can go up to 500%. 500% more damage with crit seems pretty good. A guaranteed? Wow, now we're talking. I just got to survive long enough to be able to afford to upgrade it. Because I still got to get to EX, and that's 8,500 gold. As soon as I do that, we're good. If I get a boss, I'll probably get about 4,500 gold for killing the boss. Those numbers are crazy. Soap on nine lives. It's looking a bit dirty over here. It's time to start playing around with your abilities, Soap. Think about which ones aren't working and remove them. Oh, we've got a new boss. It's the Battlefield Ghost. Suspiciously similar to the other bosses. Chichov's finishing off that one. I'm down to 15 lives, so this boss is going to cause me some trouble. This could be the end of me. Oh, I just got a bunch of kills. Okay, we're safe. My damage just went right up there. You can see how quickly everything just died there, so Pandora must have procced. Look how quickly I'm killing the boss now. And Chichos still on it, so you can see that Pandora is worth it. Holy crap, look at the catch up. This boss was on full health, that boss has been fought for a long time. We just gotta finish him off, boys. We need another good damage spike. That's a pretty small one, because it's 2,500. 5,000. Wait for it. Come on, don't let me down. Next one's gotta be good. Otherwise, we're in trouble. I'm so close. Don't fail me. The RNG is strong. Those numbers are a bit better. Hurry up and kill something, please. There we go. Thank you. And he's gone. Boom. Boom. Right. So there we are. 250% damage. Any attack always activates. Alright, well, I'll take your word for it. I'm trusting you. I'm probably just going to increase the crit now. A to S. We lost soap, did we? I figure if on a map like this, we played the hardest difficulty, it would just result in us constantly having to remake the map, and I'd rather show it off so that the YouTubers can enjoy the quality content. I still picked hard difficulty, so it's going to be a challenge. It's just not going to be one of those cases where you just die if you don't get the exact perfect mix, which is clearly what it seems like this map is about, right? I think it's 5,700 gold that I need now to upgrade this crit again. Yeah, sure. I can pick the most difficult mode. And Wait, you got two bosses? Well, that's not good. Minimal, you got to do something about it. You need some single target damage by the looks of it. Poor soap. Hundred and twenty six for ping. Wait, can you even get higher than level two hundred? No, I guess that's capped now. Chichos two hundred as well. There's one called Weapon Master. That sounds interesting. That sounds like one that would give you more damage. I feel like poison tip could possibly go.
It could be doing a lot of damage, I don't know. I knew there's lots of minions, maybe, but... I feel like that doesn't stack with my damage. I want the Greed, I want the Avengers, I want the Hope. The Twin Twister's done well, so I'll just leave that, to be honest. Because I was in trouble. It's my one thing against, like, AoE, other than Poison. Striker is like crit. I mean, um... It's Bash, sorry. I figure that's worth it. Is that maybe just better with full-on attack speed, though? Speaking of which, I would figure Overdrive gives you attack speed, judging by the fact it's called Overdrive. But it doesn't say exactly what it does. But my speed is on very fast, and I think that would probably go down if I sold the Overdrive. So I kind of want to keep it, because it's most likely going to work well with my crit if it does increase. Gives you 200% next damage for 2.8 seconds. But the Pandora's giving me 250% damage all the time. So overdrive. Maybe when you get this maxed, it's worth it. But I'm not convinced. Battlefield Goosed. I'm nuking him down. Maybe I can lose the bash then? I still think I can get rid of the poison first out of any of them. You don't like overdrive. I don't know if overdrive becomes like super, super good later on. Once you've maxed it. Because then it might be like 5.6 seconds for 200% damage. So every half the time it's doing 200% more damage sort of thing. Which is pretty reasonable. But it doesn't tell you what the upgrades do until you've spent the money. Transcend. I could get rid of Twin Twister. Not yet, necessarily. I'll just hold on to it. It'll be like one of the last ones to get rid of. Because it's just doing a good job. I want to get rid of Poison, too. I'm not going to lie. It's my only AoE ability, yeah. My AoE ability is just to kill things really quickly. If my single target is so high then it can pretty much one-shot mobs and move on to the next mob immediately afterwards. That's my AoE. Transcended. Dismantle. 300%. 15% chance for 300% damage, I suppose. Overdrive almost sounds like it's better than that, judging by the uh, numbers, but... I wouldn't get rid of it now. Let's get rid of the poison here. I'ma do it. It be done. Do, 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 do. Give up damage and pursue extreme speed. It's the right thing to do. But it nukes my damage by 58% for 500%. What do you think? Half in my damage, but giving me 500% attack speed? That sounds like it would still work out as more damage, right? If it was 200% attack speed and half my damage, then it would be even down. I have Avenger. Mm. We're not trusting them to do... do, 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 do. I got the Tonk. The auto van. Noisy boy. But is it enough single target damage?
Maybe I need a, a blend of AoE and single target though. It's a debatable whether I get rid of that one or not. I kind of wanted to put everything into a single target. I go full on max damage. Anything I can find that do damage. This does technically do damage overdrive. So I think I'll upgrade overdrive. I'm not 100% convinced on it, but it should. Alright, so it's 2.8 seconds. 3.1 seconds, so it does go up. Yeah, 0.3 seconds. So it might end up being like half the time you get plus 200% damage. What's your problem, Razor? Two hundred percent every five seconds. See, that's what I was interested in. Yeah. So half the time it's going to be extra, twice the damage. So I think, yeah, we go for it. Oh, there's three bosses here. Minimal just chilling. Ooh. He be getting he got weapon master. What weapon master do? Is it boss time again? Let's see how quickly I can kill that boss. Chichov must be on that boss now. I'm killing him already. Can I catch up? Oh, you're on the previous boss. Well, that can't be right. I suppose I've overtaken you on kills now, but... I've only just spawned my boss, so I figured that was yours. Hey, look, he keeps doing this Weapon Master one, guys. It's got to be good. There's something about this Weapon Master. I feel like I need to get it. Could maybe get rid of the Bash. Does Bash really make a difference? There's it's stunning them, which means they have more chance to get hit by tornado and stuff, which is fair enough, but it's not like that important. Not like it's going anywhere, it just keeps going around in a circle. I can hit it regardless of where it is. What do you mean change greed? Greed is the last one to go. After I've already transcended everything. Why would you get rid of the one that makes you the money? The bad thing with the creep of greed ability is the more creeps, so you might be able to sell it so you can finish rounds faster. Hmm? Enemy spawns is plus 10, so it gives you more spawns. More creep, more money, yeah. As long as I've got the life, so I can handle it. I can handle it. Dark Mega's the one who's in a bit of a pickle now. He's got the free bosses. You both got free bosses. Yes, there is an ability. Russian Roulette, that's the one. I saw that, and I was like, nope. I'm going to get rid of this 10% attack speed. And I'm going to pick this up. I think it was the same thing, to be honest, but there you go. Right. Ah. Ah. A new transcendent. Overwhelm. Every 10 seconds, for 5 seconds, plus 200% damage with my crit. And every attack doing more damage with the Avengers. Periodically, the more it keeps attacking. Then there's Twin Twisters, Striker, and Auto Van. Uh, the Auto Van can go soon. I'll probably get rid of the Striker. Just to see what I can get.
GG. Oh, it's the... It's the guard. I don't care about those. Unless they do something amazing. Oh, the Razor got there, did he? But he doesn't have anywhere near as many kills. He's not even close. Oh well, well done, Razor. Uh, gather the troops. Let's get rid of that. New one. What a wave magic. Normal attack. Sends waves at all enemy units. Yeah. Sounds like trash to me. Thunderbolt. Nope. Death sentence. Every 6.5 seconds, choose a random enemy and strike them many times. Is this like physical strikes? Because if it is, that would be good. With my crit and all of that. Yeah. I figure that would work. So, yeah. Anything. I just put everything all into single target for the lols. The mass damage. I want the bigger number so I can be a better person. I don't really have too much of a problem with bosses, though. <laughs> I can nuke bosses. Chichos got two bosses. You got to get more single target, Chichos. I can nuke bosses pretty quickly. Oh, Dark Mega's down. Zero and minimal. Well, Dark Mega's not dead yet. He literally. Oh no, nope. minimal's now minus one. Minus four. Maybe you have to get that in check before the next round begins, otherwise it kicks you out. I don't know, do I even need I would I would still keep skipping AoE. Like I said, the whole point the build I'm going for is just sort of pure, pure damage. Oh, so you got plus two hundred percent damage. Oh, so you've got plus two hundred fifty percent damage. Oh, so you've got crit on top of that damage. Oh, so you've got every single attack increases the damage that you're already doing by ten percent. Like I wanna keep stacking all of them. Think of a blade master that's like jacked. What do you mean this map is not balanced? I think the map makers made this map perfectly balanced. How could you not easily balance something like this? Minimal, you're still alive? Four bosses! Alright, I got a boss now. Let's see how quickly we can get rid of him. I want to see some big numbers. I'm right clicking on him. Gonna see some massive crits in a moment. Oh, there was one. After you've beaten this, just start a game to see how fast Nightmare is. You start a game to see how fast Nightmare is. Oh, did you see that damage? Ooh. Boss down to half already. What the heck is this? Oh, we've got an upgrade. Transcend. So, power word kill. Every five seconds, it just straight up goes kill someone. Ah, there it is. Stop healing yourself. Okay. So, that's transcended. I've got... Time to get rid of the fam. In the hopes for more single target. What's the one? Weapon Master. It's not like fan is bad. It's a good ability, obviously. 
slows them down and stuff. It might be worth getting rid of the twister and keeping the fan, because the fan slows them down. But then it's irrelevant because I don't really have AoE. So. Why more single target? I've been explaining the whole time. I'm not playing for like min max win. I'm playing to get the biggest numbers. I want to find as much damage as possible. That's that's the whole thing. That's what I do in melee games. I just do whatever I think is fun. Ah. Uh. All right, let's get rid of the van. You're gone. <laughs> He's back. How many times are we going to have to re-roll before I get Weapon Master? Artillery. That's just summon damage. Ooh, Stimpak! A powerful combat stimulant that also works on inanimate objects. For 2.5 seconds, increases your attack speed by 400%. There you go, that's another one we can boost up. That sounds good to me. 400% attack speed on uh, all of that damage. I can do with that one. Don't mind if I do. Doesn't this mean that you should remove attack speed gloves and buy a damage boost instead? Yes, that's theoretically what I could do, but I'm still spending my money on this. Once I've spent and transcended everything, then you buy your items. Okay, we got a stim pack. 3.1 seconds, so it's probably going to be 5 seconds for 400% attack speed. Which should be amazing. Your speed does not matter. What do you mean? Speed on big damage doesn't matter. That's outrageous. Even if I die, I die doing what I loved. Going for big damage. We've already got a couple that have made it, so that's fine. It's going to take me six years to finish, though. Because the more single target I go, the longer the rounds take, apparently. <laughs> your twisters don't go faster, only your tower goes faster. Yeah, it attacks faster. It attacks with damage. If a tower does 100 damage and it attacks at 100% attack speed versus a tower that does 100 damage and attacks at 400% attack speed, which one's going to do more damage? Hmm. So if I have a tower that's doing plus 500% attack damage because of all the crit and shit I've given it, increasing its attack speed should be good. Huh? I don't know why this is a fucking argument, to be honest with you. Yeah, thanks for the lumber. Alright. Stim it up. Stim it up. Maybe it's every ten levels there's a boss. Dark Mega. He's running out of time. Two, four bosses. So it's gone past the round timer. Maybe it gives you like 60 seconds or something. And then kicks you out. Boom! SS. Stim pack. Why aren't you guys having a go at Dark Mega and telling him to upgrade his van and his tornado since he needs it for AoE? Hmm? Why aren't you giving him a hard time about that, eh? Wait, who's this cheeky chap? Ooh, it's the Marine Infantry. I'm right clicking him. Oh, I'm down to four lives. Never felt so good. 
I don't want to win unless I can win by going full on damage. It's as simple as that, boys. It's as simple as that. I am stubborn and I will stick to my principles. AoE is clearly better because Melody and Razor cleared the map quicker. And I don't think they had like um, single target damage like I do. Not to mention the fact that you only really fight one boss every 10 levels. And then the rest of it is just a bunch of shite little mobs. So AoE is obviously the way to go here if you really wanted to win. However, I wanted to get the bigger numbers. It's pretty hard to tell who's got the bigger numbers though. You'd assume the 9 number is bigger, but... There could be like an extra number in there for all I know. I can't see. Transcend the stim pack. Overheat. Five seconds for 400% attack speed. There it is, lads. Minus four. Oh no. Chichoff actually overtook again on kills. The van of truth. I guess to uh, upgrade the twister when it's available. Or get rid of the greed tower now. That's the sensible thing to do. And chuck a random ability in for a phoenix, okay. Oh, it gives me more lives. Man, I'm so good at this game. You see that, that tactical decision making there? Just to keep myself alive, it's amazing. I'm expecting so many compliments from the YouTube comments section if they've made it to this far in the video. And if you have made it this far in the video, make sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe because you're clearly enjoying it. Six lives. I'm on the edge. Oh no, 11 lives. That's a bit better. Twin twister, let's go. That's an S twin twister. Just got to upgrade the AOE now. Because I don't think I can spend the resources to look for the Weapon Master. I just don't think I can. Can someone please tell me at least what Weapon Master did? My assumption is it would just improve the damage your tower does. Go full single target damage. <laughs> I, I mean, I have been basically doing that for the most part. But I'm pretty close to the end now. Uh, I can get rid of the Phoenix to look for Weapon Master again. Although it is that plus five lives, so... Maybe I've got to kill a few more mobs. Maybe I finish off the Twin Twister so I can finish off these mobs, and then I can finally look for, like, the Weapon Master. It's summoned weapons to attack. Oh, is that it? Ah, oh, I thought it might increase the damage the tower does. I don't know if there's anything else left that can sort of increase my tower damage then, for terms of single target. Ping has made it to 100, so he's just finishing off the last few. I don't know what that dirty rock one is. Poison or bash? Eh, yeah, but bash is like a separate sort of attack where it adds damage every time it procs. It's not like adding the natural damage on top of your tower that you stacked up to like 520% or whatever. And same with poison, it's a separate sort of damage entity. Boom! Transcend. Well, I guess he's done a quite good job because by the time you get almost everything transcended, you're right near the end. Gigantic type. Look how quick everything's dying now. I transcended a typhoon. AoE is overpowered in this map. Easy mode. Just go AoE. Two hundred percent damage per second. It says 200% damage per second. Is that 200% of, of my damage? Because if that was, that would be insane if it stacked off of that. Okay. No, 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 no. We look for the weapon. Oh, let's just look for... Let's just see what else there is. I'm pretty sure we've gone over every ability because we're just finishing the game now at this point. 
Artillery, we've seen that. We've seen raw. Oh, that's Hawari Summons a powerful dragon to shoot at random enemies in your area. AOE. It's the first time I've seen that. It looks cool, at least. I don't think I have time to really look for much else. So we could just finish off with a cool-looking dragon tower. That's a really nice spell effect. Holy crap. That looks really cool. It would be a bit over the top for melee games, but... In a custom game, it looks good. Yeah, one of the other players had this. Look at it. It's so cool. It's sort of spinning around and then landing on its target just like a dragon. Visually acceptable. Alright, let's take the boss out, boys. It's 8,000 gold for the most expensive item for attack damage, so I can't afford it yet anyway. Filthy backseat gamers. I made it. Oh, he got destroyed. There we go. Big damage. Chichov's made it to the water as well. Oh, look at the highest number. Did I beat the razor for the highest number? Was it all worth it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah. No, we're good. I thought for a second your number changed there. You got 991. I got 995. Bigger number, better person. So I managed to achieve my goal. Which was to get the biggest number. And I didn't die doing it. GG. Satisfaction. Everyone is happy. Twitch is happy. YouTube is happy. Everyone is excited and happy. Biggest number and highest kills. Oh, that's true. I guess that's a bonus. Do snakes are the guy who counts as happy as well. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Whoever picked a Russian roulette and it affected me. Frick you. I don't know what you're talking about, Chichov. You have your own abilities. JJ. Well done, lads. 49 minutes. So you get your own personal record. So if you played again on this difficulty, I guess it remembers. Or at least you can see what your record is. So that's something to work on. It's a fine map. It's way more automatic and let it let it run. Oh well, wow. more damage. Hang on a second. So much damage. There we go. Damage, 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 and then there's attack speed. Actually, let's drop the attack speed one and get more damage. <laughs> Pure damage. I would think Tower Survivors is a better map because there's far more skill based in what you're picking and it's far more frequent, your interactivity with the gameplay. But this was fun to play, you know, every once in a blue moon, you just sort of have a go at it and just let the cards roll as they may. There is some level of control, but it takes a long time to actually make any decisions because of the amount of gold that you have to save up to do so. So you're not really having that much impact other than the obvious choices where you're pushing AOE or pushing single target or specifically aiming for certain things that are going to impact what blends together. I feel like I made good choices. But if you was playing to win, it certainly seems like, uh, or at least in quotation marks, make it first to the end. Then AOE is definitely the way to go. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you later.